India is going to be the fourth nation that would send up a man into space. The USA has done it, Russia has done it, China has done it, our big neighbor that is there. What is so special about sending a man into space? Why should we be doing it? Actually, it is not uh, 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 the, the simply sending man into the space. Not the, that is not a criteria. The one thing is to do this three thing. Very, very lot of benefits will get out of that. Number one, I would say that the entire country's science and technology levels will increase. At another one is this. This really it's inspire the youngsters to do something new for them so that they can participate in the in the science program. Yet another advantage of what I have seen is this particular project is a national project which involves that many institutions, academia, industry in the loop. That way, the, it is not only ISRO project, the whole project which look like a, the total thing that is another uh, one. And uh, also, in my opinion, it's a national pride because we every, each and every Indian can show their uh, the mightiness and be proud that uh, in the, the science and technology point of view, we also equal to developed countries. ISTRO has been uh, building satellites, has been building rockets and distinguish itself with it. You have uh, almost a world record in terms of the number of satellites you've launched last year. What is so special? What is the challenge to put a man into space? What is the big challenge that ISRO has to overcome? See this, uh, if you see that whatever that uh, the, the technology till now we have is mainly launching a satellite. The satellite means that is simply we launch the satellite and we try to get the benefit from the satellite. But when you are launching as human, more than the, the engineering part, more than technical part, the human part is coming to the picture. Life science. We have to ensure that the, the, the human inside the module is safer and all its conditions are similar to what earth condition, the surface on earth, this type of condition also we should do it. This, the simulating the condition and creating the environment is a challenge for us, it's a new to us. This we feel that it's a new area we are entering into that, I am sure that, but we have done similar, some of the activity on this one, like uh, environment, uh, the control and life support system, also we have done a lot of studies on the space suit. But this area now is to go and enhance. So this new thing, this is a new challenge for us. The people who are going up, these uh, astronauts, or you want to call them Gaganauts, uh, that are there since you given that name, uh, they have to be trained also. Rakesh Sharma uh, was the first one to go to space and he was trained in, in that, those days, the Soviet Union. What is the training that you are planning for this? Is that facility also being set up simultaneously? No, actually, this uh, if you are taking that uh, the, the, the the training part, our uh, the the, the IAF's contribution that uh, Indian Aerospace Medicine that uh, system whatever we have in in Bangalore, they have the facilities for uh, training that astronauts. This one, because they have done similar thing to when the Rakesh Sharma was going, and uh, so definitely this facility will be useful for training the astronauts. What are they going? But in but at the same time, astronaut when they are going, that they some more training may be required, some rigorous training. Sometimes that is the facility we may have to build to have that training. Now the other thing that would you know, because the humans are involved, you are trying to also in case there's a problem at the launch pad, and there is a problem with the engines or something, and you have to take the astronauts quickly. You have now devised a, a bot pad. A, a pad that will eject. Please tell us a little bit about how you've devised that and what is that? There is a call, this, this system is called the crew escape system. And very interestingly, we need a system, very reliable system we need, that is called crew escape system, but we don't want that system to operate in the, space, in the flight. This system called crew escape system, that is, uh, it is not only launch pad, at any time during flight, in case some existence to the, the, the astronauts, and if they get that, uh, some danger is they are feeling, they should be ejected from the vehicle, taken away from the danger zone, and uh, put them and land them in a safer place. This is the crew escape system. This involves a lot of quick reacting the solid motor, 
and a system to stabilize and take the vehicle. This, this is the way the system. So they will be punched out like punched that. Punched out. It's very quickly there to do it. And yes. from there they will go and land elsewhere and safely yes, in yes, this yes. place. So that required a set of motor which is a different from normal motors. So this is the type of thing. But the system what are required if is going to operate at the launch pad. This is one condition. That's what we have demonstrated some time back. The, the same system will function during flight also, in case something happens. This was demonstrated last year or uh, much earlier? There is the last uh, July. Ju July, you all did it, uh, yes. July 5th, we had the, the flight. This so one. it's a very specialized thing. We've never done this escape uh, yes, uh, module before. Yes. So the similar thing that we will do at a different uh, time instance of the flight also. It's a very, very crucial system, but the system we don't want to operate in the flight. <laughs> you don't want. <laughs> we don't want to operate in the flight. But we want to ensure that it is, uh, it is if in case it is coming into action, it should function There's a safety normally. wall. Safety, yes. this one. What is the total cost of this uh, entire project? We are uh, thinking that it will be around 10,000 crore. Okay, and is that, when you say that, is it the cheapest manned mission flight that would have been devised, like we did for Mars and... Uh, Yes, yes, that is uh, definitely, in my opinion, this is, uh, this cost is not very high. And uh, how we are able to manage within the somewhat lower cost for this mission is, is almost all the technology we developed as a part of this one. And uh, the critical technology. And uh, another very, very good advantage for us is the vehicle is already available, this one. So only now our remaining job is to have a, some kind of facility or infrastructure uh, the built up and make a, a cost required for the really that uh, as a project we need a cost and we are launch. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel, We Know You Would Love To.